Welcome to the, Dy the Dynamic Equilibrium Cobalt System Lab. We are going to be looking at this reaction, which is very complex when you look at it, um, but we're really looking at the equilibrium of it. Is it going to shift to the reactant side, which we can see will make it look blue, or are we going to shift to the product side, which is pink? Now take a second and look at that reaction. Our first step is to make predictions on which way it will shift and the color. So take a second um, and pause the video. Once you look at this, what would adding heat do? And again, what way do you think it would shift and the color? So do an arrow and a color, pink or blue. Pause video now. All right. I hope you have your predictions. Some of them uh, might have uh, made you think a little bit. Some may have been a little easier. Now here, um, I have done step two and three for us, and that is to get a beaker on the hot plate and get some ice water. We're gonna use those um, in a little bit. So going to the second page, we have a series of different um, investigations. So the first one says, uh, to a dry test tube, add one squirt of cobalt chloride and then add some water to it, about six drops or so. Well, I have all our test tubes set up with our cobalt chloride already in there. So I'm gonna take my water and add it to this first test tube watch and see if anything happens oh I think you can see it right there this reaction has shifted so um, I can probably get that last little bit by shaking it so when you write that down so on your lab you should color in this first one was blue that's the what we started with and then when we added the water, it shifted to the pink. Now, take a second, read steps four and five. All right, so step four, we're gonna take another uh, squirt of cobalt chloride, add six drops of water and tap it like mixing just like what we did before so I'm gonna do this again and we should expect the same result to happen I put those in there and I'm gonna shake it up a little bit all right I'm gonna put another drop or two in there want to get it so it's all the way shifted I don't want to go too crazy with it all right so there we see that we have our pink now following along with there that's our recorded uh, picture for number or step four step five is now to add some acetone now Acetone is the active ingredient nail polish remover. I always have to say that in lab because if uh, anybody's wearing nail polish, um, they can come it can come off. So I'm gonna slowly add my acetone to that and let's see if it shifts to the other way. Oh, you can already see it. That's exciting. It is shifting and we can tap this tube or see the top part already shifting back to that beautiful blue chloride um, so we can look at that there is step five all right step six is to rinse them out lucky you guys I will do that for you 
Go ahead and read step eight and step nine. Um, in this one, we're going to add uh, some lead nitrate, and I have to go get that from the back, so you can follow me really quickly. That was the one thing I forgot to bring out. So you get to visit the chemistry storeroom. And here is our lead nitrate. And you can see it's a clear uh, liquid. So same thing as we did before. One squirt, if you will, of cobalt chloride. And that we know should look purple. That's our third test tube. And now we're going to add 10 drops or so of the lead nitrate. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, you can see that reaction a little bit differently, but again, definitely not the blue. All right, let's look at the last one. The last one, go ahead and read steps 11, 12, and 13. You can see on this one, we start off the same way with one squirt of cobalt chloride. We're going to add a little bit of water to it. And so we know what should happen here when we add a little bit of water. And now we're going to mix it. But we're going to put this in our water and see what happens. So here's our test tube. We're going to put it nice in that water. And we're going to wait just a second. And you can already see the top part. I'm trying to get this so you can see it a little bit better. And it's almost going from the top down. And what is that doing? It's shifting in what direction? Wonder if your prediction is correct. Now we'll wait here just a second. Um, try to get it all, do a little mix with it. That will help. You can really see the nice blue there. A little bit of pink at the bottom. Again, we'll shake that. All right, now it's pretty much all blue. Um, step 14 is now we're going to take away the heat or cool it. So here we go. Take it and we're going to set it in the ice water. Now, you can kind of see it down there um, in the ice, and I'll pull it out here in a second. Um, you can already probably see through there. I can see it. Look at that. It's starting to turn. We'll keep it down there a little bit. Maybe shake it, and I get that nice and cool, everything nice and cool. Oh, look at that. Now, that turned back to pink. What would happen if we put it back in the heat? I know what you're thinking. This is what Mr. Foss does for fun on Saturdays. He does equilibrium shifts back and forth from pink to blue, pink to blue, pink to blue. All right, you can see that that's already shifting back to blue um, or that nice purple color. And we can go back and forth because that's just shifting the equilibrium. All right, let's finish up the lab. Um, Mr. Foss will clean up all the test tubes and take care of them. Write the equilibrium expression for this. So products over reactants. And now I give you an example of the general explanation and the effect that things should have. So adding heat, we saw that stresses the product side. So that shifts everything to the left. We increase our reactants. My general explanation um, this is an exothermic uh, reaction, and we'll always push it to 
the endothermic direction. Now, remember the only thing that has effect on KEQ is temperature, so this one has an effect on it. All right, now finish both front and back. Um, these questions here are very uh, important. You'll see them on the review and you'll see them on your test. Let me know if you have any questions.